go right into your app store and search for iRobot. Once you search for that, just go ahead and download the first one, iRobot Home. Now, if you have another one, all you have to do is add one more because we have another one. If you're brand new to this, just make your account and then you're gonna see that you can add your product. But again, if you have another robot in your house, you can go ahead and add this one. Just press okay. And then you're gonna see this page right here. So just go right into your Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on and we need Wi-Fi. So again, make sure it's turned on, everything's turned on. So again, go into your phone settings or your iPad settings and make sure everything's good. So here are my settings, like I mentioned, just make sure Bluetooth's on, local network, and then background app refresh, that's actually important. Once you make sure everything's good, just close that up, go into continue, and then you're gonna see this page where it just lets you connect easily. Now, before you do anything here, just place your robot on the stand. So how do you place this robot? Well, you're gonna place it backwards. So this is the front, that's the back. The front, you're, you're gonna notice you have this, that's where it sprays. So we're just gonna place this like so. Right here, just slide it back a little bit. You should see it lighting up like so. So that's good. If it's flashing like that, and that light should be on. Now back to your phone or tablet. Just press continue from this screen. And from here, just make it so you can use your location while using the app. All right, so this part, it depends. For this specific robot, it's gonna be the M6, middle one. And from here again, it's gonna ask you which one is it exactly. This is this one. It's a good thing that they have a picture for it. And there we go. You can just go ahead and do that. Now, you should have heard something from your robot already, but let's just go on and get started. And it's a good thing that it gives you a good demo of where to place everything. Now, what you guys wanna do is place this right here with some space. So you do need 1.5 meters of space, so that way, wants to go back, it's not gonna have too many things or obstacles in its way. So you do need some space, and obviously this should be placed against your wall, not just like this. Right now it's like that, just to show you guys. But on that, just make sure against your wall, continue on. Next up, it's gonna ask you for your Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi already detected, it's all good, so I can just go ahead, yes, continue. I can change my Wi-Fi at any time. Just put in your password for your Wi-Fi, or if your wife doesn't have any passwords, just Tap right there where it says, my network doesn't have a password. Once you do that, just press enter. Right here, it's gonna tell you exactly what to do. And in order to activate this, all you have to do is press and hold those two buttons that it's gonna show you right there. Again, very easy to find those two buttons. I'm gonna show you that right now. So in order to activate, you see this and this button, just around clean, just hold those two buttons. And you have to hold both of them for two seconds. So I'm gonna hold them down. I'm gonna let go. I actually let go as soon as I heard something, so I know that everything's okay. And down here, you're gonna press here. It says, I press the button. So you press the buttons, go into next, it's gonna search, it's connecting. So you connect it to Wi-Fi. It's actually the most important part. And then it's gonna verify your password. And then the last one, establish cloud connection. Once we do that, it's almost basically done. We should hear something like that. Now your room by itself, once you do that, you're gonna see a certain light, then this light. There we go, so I wanna show you what happens. So you guys heard that your flashing. Fully set up and ready to go. Press clean to get to work. Okay, so there you go. Right now, it tells you, yeah, press clean to get to work, but we didn't set up everything exactly. I'm gonna show you how to fill this up and everything. We're just gonna go into continue on, and you can name this. I'm just gonna leave it as Brava Jet. Press done. Then just go into next. And you can go ahead, press next, and learn everything about it. This is good. It gives you a quick tutorial of how this works exactly. So we're just gonna go into next, next. Again, it's gonna tell you a little bit about each one. So yeah, that's to do wet, dry. Here we go. It's going to go into next. Gonna tell you a little bit of a tutorial that it does detect pretty much everything. They work really well. Going to next. Once it needs battery, yep, it goes back by itself, guys. If it doesn't for any reason, you might have an obstacle around, you might not have enough, enough space, you can put it back yourself. It happens. Right down here, you're gonna see if uh, you need to do anything. Most likely just clean hair 
or anything that can get around those wheels it does happen quite a bit here we go i do suggest having another robot or you do it yourself just uh vacuum before you use this here we go next Cords can get stuck with cords, so you have to move that around. So you do have to kind of set up the um, room before you get started. But anyways, at this point you can start the mapping run. So it will get to know wherever you're at, at this point. And we're gonna start it up. You're gonna see a screen like so. Attach a pad, then press clean. And yes, that means exactly that. We have to attach a pad in order for it to do this mapping. So to attach a pad, let me just get it out of here. It's very easy. You see this, it actually tells you how the pad's gonna go. So see this, again, all you have to do is just slide it in there. You're gonna see these things right here and you're gonna just slide it in. Just follow the arrows and there we go. So it should look something like so. It does go over the edges just a little bit. You will notice that, just a little bit. And we're just gonna put it back. All right, so right now what we have to do next, after we place that, is put some water in here. You can put some clean solution if you want. If you don't want to, don't, don't do it. Just go with water, water's good enough. We always just clean up with water, mainly. So that's gonna go right here. Again, all I did was just take that out. You're gonna see that this goes up like so, so it makes it easier for you. And right here, if you turn it this way, it's gonna unlock this, and that's where you can fill it up. So we're just gonna fill it up with some water. Once you fill it up with some water, just close this back up. So you're just gonna spin it like so. Now it's locked and we can just put it back here. So again, we're just gonna put it like so. It's gonna snap in, close this, and you're ready to go. So I wanna mention that as your robot cleans, it actually maps everything out. And it usually does that, uh, it usually takes two runs to map everything out. So right now it does tell me that my battery is not the greatest, but I would actually wait for it to be 100% before I run this, but you can just go ahead and test it out. I actually suggest doing that. If you go into maps right here, you're gonna see that you don't have a map or anything like that. So what you wanna do is just go back and just run this. Go ahead and mop everywhere. So you're gonna see exactly that. Your mop will just get out of there and start mopping. So here we go. Those are normal sounds. Everything's fine. And it's just gonna map things out. Now on your app itself, you should see something like so. Discovering and cleaning. Again, if you can charge it up for a little bit more so the battery's 100% full, because right now you guys can see it's pretty low, um, it's not gonna run for that long. I would fully charge it before I do this, but for this tutorial, it's good to test it out anyways, just in case something happens. And uh, you guys should see it spraying a little bit of water, just a little bit. If you put clean solution, that was an option, sure. I'm gonna do a close up so you guys can see what the robot's doing exactly. But as far as this setup video, we're all done. That's all you guys have to do. Have fun with your robot and that's it.